Hey guys, it's Ryan with David and Derek. Hey. We're here at the 2015 Chicago Auto Show. We're sitting in a Toyota Prius V. Um, we just want to give you guys a nice video so that you guys could check out the auto show even if you can't make it here this year. Um, you're going to see some pretty sweet rides, some not so sweet rides, and you're going to see a few reviews along the way. Thanks for watching. Let's get started. Hey guys, Ryan here. Again at the 2015 Chicago Auto Show. And today we are trying out the Buick Verano. Here we have got um, we've got a center touch screen with um, audio and um, navigation. Um, it is a automatic. It's got reverse, neutral, drive, plus and minus, or should I say, drive, drive advanced. Um, and then we've got all your climate control buttons here, engine start stop, hazards, and trunk button. Um, it's pretty luxurious. It's a nice car. Yeah, I mean, it's very comfortable for the money. It's The Verano is actually the cheapest Buick in the lineup. Um, but it still feels like um, a luxury car. Yeah, I mean, it still has that traditional Buick flair and style, you know? Yeah. It still has the leather interior, still has the standard Buick feel and and I guess they've traded the traditional park brake for just a little button. Out of ten, I'd give it a. I'd give it a seven and a half. Pretty nice. Yeah. Hey guys, Ryan back here again with another review from the Chicago Auto Show. This time we're taking a look at the uh, Cadillac CTS V Sport. Um. This is possibly one of the cooler cars I've seen so far today. Look at that. That just slides in and out. And then I just push it. It moves back. It's like a CD drive. Then you've got the twin clutch gearbox. You've got the screen with Q. Then look at this. Digital display. Now, Derek, how do you turn the car on? Oh, no. But how do you get the screen to pop up? Oh, you press the start stop button. Right. I knew that. So, see? It's got a remote start. It's got windows. This thing feels like a luxury car, but then, but you're really not paying that luxury car price with Cadillac. They just moved their headquarters from Detroit to uh, New York, um, but this is a really nice car to be honest. It's really well laid out. Um, it's comfortable, and it's all all the leather's nice, but um, I still don't really like Q all that much. I don't like the touchscreen. Derek, what are your thoughts? Um, I'm not really all that big on the touchscreen the Cadillac. I mean, I mean, people already have enough on their minds over there. I mean, they only need one more thing to distract them. You know, like iPhone, iPod. I mean, people are already distracted enough with your dad. I mean, they, there's not even another tool to get distracted by. Hey guys, Ryan here again. Um, this time we're checking out the 2015 GMC Canyon. Um, we have got um, GMC's new um, system that they're kind of going in part with with um, Chevy and Cadillac with Q. Well, the starting price is and yeah, the base in this thing is awesome. Um, we've got all your air controls, AC. We've got heated seats. We can adjust the channel. Let's. Why don't we do that now? The thing's just really nice and well laid out. I really like it. I mean, I'll give it a seven. Six, seven. All right. Hey guys, Ryan here again at the 2015 Chicago Auto Show. Today we're in the Chevy Camaro Z28. Um, to be honest, I don't really like this car that much. It's it's got a nice feel. It's fast, but it's got no amenities. It's got no touchscreen, and um, it's way too low. It's a track-oriented car. I understand that, but if it's a track car for the road, at least have it some daily. At least let it have some daily amenities. It's got a couple, but not all that much. My rating of this car is a uh, three out of ten. Hey guys, DBS fan here to, again at the 2015 Chicago Auto Show. Today we're checking out the Lincoln Navigator. This thing, I like it a lot. You know, it's really upscale. It's got a nice feel to it. It's got Sync from Microsoft, which I like better than Q from Chevy. It's got USB. I've got 
adjustable mirrors. This dash is just nice. The seats are comfortable. I can haul around all my friends, got all my camera gear in here. This thing is sweet. The console's a little bit big, I will say. Yeah, it is a little bit, it is a little bit clumsy to pick up, but, um, Wide. yeah, um, but on my scale, I'm going to give this thing an 8.5 out of 10. I'm going to give this thing a 6 out of 10. Hey guys, Ryan here again. We're taking a look at the Mercedes-Benz G-Class. This thing, this thing is off the charts insane. It is built well, German build quality. We're riding up in here. I've always wanted one of these things. It's just too darn expensive. Um, it starts at like $135,000. I've got seat adjusters on the door here. I've got all my windows. I've got adjusters. Heck, I can even open the moonroof on this thing. I just need to figure out how. I've got all these settings. Man, this thing is awesome. I am up. I am up for some G-Class loving later. All right, man, I'm giving this thing a nine and a half out of 10. Hey guys, Ryan here at the 2015 Chicago Auto Show. We're here in my favorite vehicle in the world ever, the Toyota Land Cruiser. It's been all redesigned. It was all redesigned last in 2008. And we have got touch screen navigation. We've got a screen over here for TV playing or Xbox. I got cool cup holders right here. I got a cool box right here. You can cool down all my drinks. Um, I got tracks, I got six Steedy Tracker, I got JBL Audio. I'm loving this thing. I got mirror adjusters, like up in here. I got door locks, I got windows, I got a steering wheel. It's always good. Got engine start stop, I got voice control. I think I just turned it on. Um, we even got this panoramic sunroof up here, yo. Stick my hands out of it. But you know what? I love this truck so much, I'm giving it a 10 out of 10. See ya. Hey guys, Ryan back here again at the 2015 Chicago Auto Show. Something a little bit different. Here we've got a 2015 Winnebago RV. Um, it's got some nice amenities. It's got a real nice steering wheel, pretty big. It's got radio, um, it's got tons of visibility, and that folds down to the bed. But, hey, it's an RV, but it's soft. It's really nice though. So, for an RV, I think I'm gonna give this thing an eight. So yeah, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed our little video, and uh, I hope you learned something about the Chicago Auto Show this year. Um, yeah, so please tell us what your favorite vehicle was. Please comment, like, favorite, share, and please subscribe if you like our videos and enjoy these little tidbits of bonus. What would you guys rate this year's show? One being horrible, ten being great. Amazing. Well, it was amazing, but eight. I would have to rate it an eight. I would rate it an eight. So, good job. Did you guys enjoy the show? What? What's the question? Did you guys enjoy it? Absolutely. Totally. Every year. We're doing such a vlog. So, this is how you do a vlog, huh? This is how we vlog. Yeah. No. So, I'm not going to say Katy Perry or anything that I came up with. Three seconds. Katy Perry, please don't sue us. Please. So yeah, that was a good show. Yeah. We all rated it like I'll, I'll do eight and a half actually. Yeah. Then I will do eight and three quarters. Wait a minute, no, I'll do I'll do nine. Alright. Eight and three quarters. Fair enough. Three quarters. No, platform nine and three quarters. Five, five. Nine point eight two five. Did you get the Harry Potter reference platform nine and three quarters? No. Remember I never rubbed up the book. I'll go 8 and a third, which is 8.3 with a 3 repeating. Oh, mm win. -hmm. That's a Well, somebody crashed already. Oh, wow. That's really bad. Ow. Ouch. Ouch. Ow. How many? Eight.
Eight cars. Eight cars. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Probably right as the snow started falling, I'll bet. True. Yeah. Oh, that's a guy spinning his tires. Oh, that's so great. Good. Um. Did you see the? Did you see the? Um, 